What's up guys? So here's our objective. I have seven lab tables and I need seven crayfish. I'm here at the Otai Valley Regional Park and hopefully I'll be able to catch seven crayfish. Before I get started, let's take a look at a few clips of my favorite place to hike here in San Diego. And the things I do for you guys. Let's go. Okay, we're on our first stop, small riverbed here. Yeah, I don't know if that crayfish is alive right there, but that's easy picking, so I'm going to go grab it right now. So that crayfish, unfortunately, it looks dead. But if I ever run out of bait today, that'll make great bait, so I'm probably just going to leave it on the side right here. So I just got a really great tip from that couple and they said that the area that I thought was dried out might still have some good area to work with. So if I don't have any luck here, I can make my way over there. So my weapon of choice is a five foot six fishing pole. I'm just gonna put a slab of shrimp on here and drop it down, see what happens. Wish me luck, guys. I can actually see one right there. Let's see if I can get my bait right there and see if it will go for it. Okay, I'm downstream, so let's see if I can smell it out. Okay, he's not going for it, which is pretty unusual. So I'm going to try another crevice and we'll see if we get better luck. I could probably just reach in there and grab them. In fact, I think I'm gonna try that. Booyah. So sometimes you just gotta go down and get them. So I'm actually gonna individually pack them in Ziploc bags because they will eat each other. There's a monster crayfish right there. Let's see if I can grab it. Beast mode. Mosquitoes and water flow here isn't that great, so I'm gonna make a move. Getting eaten alive right here. Okay, so it's considerably dropped the water level, but I may get lucky with some crayfish. I'll give it a try. Let's see. not really seeing any crayfish right now. When the water drops like this, their instinct is to start digging in the mud and they'll stay sheltered for the entire year until the rain comes back. And in fact, I can see a lot of mud holes right here, which probably house crayfish. So I'll probably be digging for some here. So here you can see all these little holes. That's where the crayfish are all hiding. Let's see if we get one.
crayfish head. Yeah, they're dug in pretty deep. I don't think I'm gonna have any luck here. I might just go back to that other riverbed and try to catch some over there. Cause yeah, it's too dried up here. Okay, so I'm back on this small little river and look who we got waiting for us right there. This guy grabbed him a little fast. Boom, got him. He almost pinched me really good. Okay, but there he is. Tough part's getting him in the bag. Okay. There we go. It's number three. All right, guys, it's pretty muggy out here. I'm getting eaten up by the mosquitoes. Let's look at the positives. I got three. And I'm pretty sure that I've got two males and one female. And in class today, we'll check out to tell the difference between the two. So thank you for joining me today, guys. And let's have fun in today's lab.